everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have my March favourites for you all. March was so ridiculously busy. Like you have no idea. I got sick so that was like a, a week that was a complete write off. I did nothing. Um, I had assignments due, like so much group work, like oh my god I don't even want to think about it. It gives me a headache. Um, but anyway, of course I still have some beauty favourites for you all, so I'm going to share those with you today. Um, some stuff I think I've talked to you guys about before, and then some new things as well. So, yeah, let's just get started. Also, I know I look like shit, don't even judge, I just, I still don't feel very good. So, yeah. But anyway, let's get on to the favourites. I guess I'll start off with primer. It's actually been a little primer combo that I've been enjoying. I've really been liking mixing the Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer with the Revlon Photo Ready Skin Light Face Illuminator in the shade Bare Light. I'm not too sure I've talked to you guys about this combo before, but what I do is I just use about one and a half pumps of this and about maybe a little dime size amount of this. It just really depends on how glowy I feel and I just apply it all over my face and it just really makes the foundation that I put over the top really illuminated and really, really pretty. So I've been loving that combo together. But I'm sure any highlighting product and any like nourishing face primer would do the same thing. Foundation, of course. Um, this one I absolutely adore. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I have mine in the shade 2W2 Rattan. I did recently pick up a, another shade. I haven't used that one yet, but this is the one that I've been using when I'm fake tanned. Absolutely love this stuff. I'm definitely going to go pick up the pump from MAC because it's so inconvenient having the twist cap. And also it reduces the lifespan of your foundation as well. So yeah, I need to get onto that ASAP. But basically that foundation, I have a complete full review of it, so I'll link that down below. Um, but yeah, it's just an overall really, really nice, full coverage, long-lasting foundation. Pretty standard, but it's really nice. And can you hear my sheep? <laughs> Maybe not. Whatever. Oh my god, and I just realized that the long weekend is on Friday. Yes! I'm so happy. I have exams to study for and I work full-time, so like... Having time off at Easter is like a godsend, literally. So this product, I also have a review of it on my channel as well. This is the L'Oreal Glam Bronze Eau de Soleil Tanning Liquid. Um, I didn't want to talk about it too much on my channel, even though I did do a review of it, um, because I thought it was limited edition. But I have seen it like merge into the permanent stand of L'Oreal. So I think it might be permanent now. I'm not too sure, but it is really, really nice. Check out the review, I will link that down below also. But yeah, it's really, really nice and I always, I've also mentioned this in the video, but I love applying it with the Zoeva 110 Face Shape Brush. It's really, really nice together, really, really nice. Check out the video if you want to know more about it. Seriously, you know those days where your hair just doesn't do anything, so you just whack it in a ponytail and you have no idea what's going on? That's how I feel. <laughs> I should have mentioned this with the foundation, but I've been loving this brush. It's from Real Techniques and it's called their Cheek Brush. This is absolutely perfect to apply foundation with. Like not just the Estee Lauder Double Wear, but just any foundation in general. It's like a paddle brush style, but then it's also a little bit fluffy, so you can actually buff it into the skin. It's really, really nice. I really want to pick up another one, but I'm so on it. Like I'm on a spending ban. Kind of, not really, but I don't really need another foundation brush. You know what I'm saying? Moving on to face powder, I picked this up at the Priceline 40% off sale. I'll probably film that haul on the long weekend only because I'm really starting to feel so sick. So I'll probably film that on the long weekend, I promise. Um, but yeah, this is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Press Powder. I actually ended up buying two shades. The shade that I actually prefer on my skin tone is the shade 53 but this is a shade 55 I do find 55 matches me better when I do have a significant tan going on so obviously not right now but when I am a lot darker this is really really nice um, but I do like 53 for a normal daily -ness. <laughs> oh my god I can't even speak today but you know what I mean like 53 is a mo lot more lighter in color so yeah I actually have no idea where it is I think it's chilling in my handbag I should find that. But yeah, I love this so much and it actually keeps me matte and it actually sets my foundation. Like I've been using the Face of Australia Loose Translucent Powder and it sets and it's fine, but it doesn't keep me matte. This honestly keeps me matte. 
for a significantly longer time than any other powder that I've tried. So I would highly recommend it. It's really affordable. I think it's like $20 full price, which to be honest, I would pay $20 for this. Normally, you can pick it up on ASOS. It smells just like the Healthy Mix Foundation. And it is, it's not translucent. There's definitely some color to it. I don't know if you can see it because it is flesh toned. But yeah, it's a really, really nice powder. I would recommend it if you're looking for a new pressed powder. A few more products, I promise. So for eyebrows, I think I've talked about this a million and one times, so I'm not going to continue to ramble on about it. But this is the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper in the shade Medium Dark. It's got a very, very small wand, so it's perfect for the eyebrows. Like, just perfect. I love it so much. Like, like it's not a super opaque tint, but it's definitely got some tint to it, as you can see there. I don't know why I just swatched it for you. Hopefully that helps you, but yeah. There are little fibers in it, but I don't really find the little fibers do anything. Um, but to be honest, it's just a really, really nice brow gel that makes your eyebrows look a bit fuller. I personally do have sparser eyebrows, especially this one. Um, so I do need to fill it in with powder and stuff, but I think if you had full eyebrows, you could just get away with this. Like, it is great. Seriously, pick it up. It's so good. Like, it's so good. This is seriously like the makeup product for dummies, like seriously. This is the Benefit Creaseless Cream Shadow in the shade No Pressure. If you just put this all over your eyelids, it seriously looks like you put in so much more effort than what you actually have. It's so beautiful, like, it's like this, sorry, my camera just cut out. Um, it's like this taupey, goldy, bronzy, cool toned, warm toned, hard to describe colors, but it's so beautiful, guys, like, Seriously, the camera doesn't do the color justice. It's like my favorite color. It makes my eyes look so much more green than what they are. I do have more hazel eyes, but they do have green pigment. And when I wear this, it seriously makes the green in my eyes stand out a lot more. So this lip combo, I've been wearing to work so much. This is the Astralis Velour Lip Matte Lip Cream in the shade Lun Dun. I hate how they spell it, but it's a really, really pretty color. I was really, really scared to use this color, to be honest, because it looks like that porn star color like you know what I'm talking about but it's really not it's like the most beautiful like springtime pink even though we're going into autumn it's like a really really pretty like purpley tone pink like it's not blue Barbie pink enough to be like a porn star color it's definitely more on the purple side of that so it just looks really really pretty and then I've been loving putting this Bobbi Brown lip gloss over the top of it it's called Bare Sparkle 15 High Shimmer Lip Gloss. This is just a little like sample size that I got, but it's just basically a clear lip gloss with some peach glitters in it. It's really, really pretty. You can hardly see it, but it's super like reflective. I'm pretty sure any clear gloss or anything of that nature would do the same thing, but this is just what I own. Now, last product, it's kind of random, but it's kind of not. This is the Nukes Lip Balm for dry chap lips. I love this as a lip balm. It looks like this. It smells like lemon cream biscuits. Ah. And it's just a really, really nice thick lip balm that you can put on your lips day or night. I really, really love it. But I was so incredibly sick through March. Um, and like, you know when like you're blowing your nose a lot and then like it gets like really chapped like when you blow your nose and like all dry and like peely and nasty looking? Well, I had this in my drawer at work. I have one of these in my drawer at work, in my makeup room and in my bedroom. I love this so much. Um, so I got it out of the drawer at work and I was like, well, I'm just gonna put this under my nose because my nose is gonna be so sore. So I literally, I had no shame. Like I did not care. Like I didn't care if it fucked up my makeup. I did not care. I just didn't want my nose to be like sore and red. So I used it and I just put it where it was dry and seriously it prevented me from having like really really sore, like a really really sore nose. Seriously if you're sick, I know it sounds ridiculous, but seriously give this a go. Um, it won't look that bad because it is more of a matte consistency, it's definitely not a glossy lip balm, it's definitely more of a matte lip balm and I know that sounds very very hard to explain, but it really is. like. I don't know if you can see it, but like it doesn't have hardly any shine to it. Like I put it there 
but like it has hardly any shine to it so it doesn't look like you've randomly just slapped on some lip balm onto your face. Um, like look, I'll do a bit more. So I'll just put it here. So like you can see, oh, you can see that no matter how I move it, it is matte. It's not like a high gloss like this. Um, how you could actually detect it on your face as long as you kind of moisturize it a little bit because it's so intensive It really works. I have no idea if what I said Made sense to you, but it made sense in my head. It just it gets away the chappiness Chappiness You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I love this stuff if you think you're getting sick seriously This is worth the investment. It's got like I think it's like organic or something or no parabens or something like that I'm not too sure but I really really like it. I think it's really really good. I would recommend it. So recently I did pick up the MAC 15 Warm Neutrals palette. Um, I'll probably upload that haul soon-ish, um, hopefully. But this is what the palette looks like. There's just 15 MAC eyeshadows and I absolutely adore this palette. It's seriously one of the best investments. I bought mine in the US and forward shipped it to my house. I bought it when it was 120 bucks and they price reduced. Like seriously to 85 bucks. Seriously. Ugh, whatever. But the quality of these is just like if you were to buy the individual MAC eyeshadows. You can't pop them out as if you were to build your own palette. I'm pretty sure you can find a YouTube video on how to do that, but whatever. These colors are amazing. Like, I'll just swatch some of the darker ones for you because I don't know if you can see that on my hand, but seriously, like, the pigmentation is really, really good. If you just want good standard eyeshadows, these are amazing. Um, they're nothing like Too Faced or anything like that. Like Too Faced, they're, ge they're very, very creamy and very, very soft. These are just good generic eyeshadows. Um, do I think it's worth $85 for this palette? If you're a makeup lover, yes. If you're a MAC lover, yes. If you want MAC eyeshadows in particular, yes. Um, they also have a cool palette as well. Um, I really, really want to get that one. Um, yeah, like, they're nothing like Too Faced, how it's really, really buttery and really creamy and really smooth. They're just good eyeshadows. Um, if you want better value for money, go with Too Faced. I would, that's probably my best high-end makeup palette, um, like the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. But for some reason, I've just been reaching for this, and I love it. So, yeah. Um, I think I've rambled enough for one day, so I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you would like, and yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye!